The disciple that always seems to be overlooked is Matthias, and he is our saint of the day. Of course, he was not among the original 12, but he replaced Judas as the 12. The New Testament mentions him really only in the Acts of the Apostles, and that is in the account of how he was chosen to become one of the Twelve. After the death of Judas, the Apostles met to elect someone to replace him. Peter presided at this meeting and reminded the others of the qualifications necessary for being an Apostle. The candidate had to have been a follower of Jesus Christ from the time of Jesus' baptism by John in the Jordan until his ascension into heaven. Soon the choice was narrowed down to two men, Joseph, so good and holy that he was known as Joseph the Just, and Matthias, also a very good and holy man. At this point, it would seem that Joseph had the edge over Matthias, but God's ways aren't the same as ours. And after the apostles prayed for divine guidance, they cast their lots and Matthias was chosen to share in the ministry of the apostles. So Matthias became an apostle and a witness with the others to the resurrection of Christ. Tradition links him with the country of Ethiopia, where he is believed to have met his martyrdom. Known facts about the missionary work and martyrdom of Matthias are not many. We can only guess that he was a good and holy man. He is also patron saint of alcoholics or people who struggle with addictions. And let's face it, we all have addictions of some sort or other. So perhaps Matthias might intercede for us today and give us hope and perseverance in our own struggles.